Oh, it is one. starting. It's going. Hey guys, Jamie and Deb here. We are live in our kitchen. Just painting some corbels. Oh, you can't see them very well, but you can see Jamie's. You can see mine. They're big. Yeah. I custom made these for customers. They're going to put them on their front porch. No, they're putting them on that pergola. Oh, it's yeah. like a porch. We are, oops, I can't read comments if I don't start it. I don't know how to work that. All right, you, you talk to them while I figure this out. So we're doing a live video here at the end of the week. We've, this is officially our fifth video this week after we made the announcement last Saturday. We missed Tuesday because... Uh, the live video froze. Oh, sorry. Is it playing now? Uh, no, I think it's going. We have 14 people watching. Hey, guys. Hey, if you guys can see this, can you make a comment so I know that it's unfroze? Can you guys... Anybody there? Anyway, what I was saying, um, talking about uh, our it's fifth not, it's video... It's not playing on my end. Then restart it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. All right, you keep talking and then I'll... Um, how are you guys liking it? I mean, we've got some pretty good feedback so far, but uh, are you liking the new format? We did a couple of DIYs that were kind of dedicated. More uh, the okay, uh, we're good. the curtains, the drop cloth curtains were one of those, and then also when Jamie went shopping, which we had to talk about how uh, how well she did filming. I, it took me two hours to edit like 15 minutes of footage. So, you know, that took a minute because it was, it was kind of rough. Eliza, we're live. Hey, say hi to the people on YouTube and then close the door and go back outside. Hello! <laughs> it's delayed. Oh, no, there it is. It's just a few minutes delayed. All right. So we're going to keep painting here. Sorry, that was a little weird. If you've got comments, comment below. But we are, these were done for my friend Meredith. They were supposed to be painted like three weeks ago and um, we didn't get them painted. Hold on, we gotta shoo Eliza and Lily up. And she hasn't come by to get them, so I guess we're probably okay. We'll have these up on the website soon. You can get them in any color you want. Usually people buy whatever color we have posted, but you know. Where do I see the comments? Any color. You just click on comments, sweetie, for the live chat. Oh, live chat. Bear with us while we figure oh, out how to do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's all those comments. Hey, Lily, Judy, Evelyn, Jean, Dawn, Tisha, Tisha, I'm not very good, Caitlin, Candace, Dana, and there we go. Everybody's there. Okay. Are you done? I am not done, Jack. We are hey, Eliza, can you go tell Harrington that? Sorry Jack about that. That's there. probably kind of annoying that it wasn't working for a while. But anyways, yeah, so it's been a really good week. It's been a little crazy because we're not used to shooting so many videos. I don't know how many of you guys shoot YouTube videos, but if you do, it was, we were having a hard time doing one a week and now we're doing five. So that's a little, that's a little much. If you're wondering uh, what we're painting with, we're using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. And it is, Pantry Door is the color. You can buy it at jamierayvintage.com. It's pretty easy to mix up. You mix up one part water to one part of the powdered milk paint, stir it up. We just use a red Solo cup and then you brush it on. It gives a really good authentic chippy look. I think I had a question, let's see. Do you sell them unfinished? Okay, so if you want unfinished corbels, go to our website, pick the design that you want. These should be up on our website this week. Hopefully, Caitlin will get them up there. But pick the ones you want and then message us on Facebook or email me, um, my web, I think my email is linked to this, Jamie Ray at yeah. jamierayvintage.com and then we'll get you pricing for unfinished corbels. The best way to get a hold of us is on Facebook Messenger on Jamie Ray Vintage because I get to see those too. So if you have like a build question. Are you saying that I don't check? She checks it like 30,000 times a day. But if you have a build question, I get to see it too and I can respond and be like, hey, this is, I mean, and that's like real time. I'm gonna get that and see that in the afternoon at three o'clock. Well, I also <laughs> do have um, 30,000 emails. So I may miss it. So yes, Facebook message me. That's the best way to get hold of me. Or um, Instagram, but you know, Facebook Messenger is pretty reliable. How many of you guys have been watching the videos every day? Has anybody, did, we've been doing, this week we did two DIY videos. We did the bay wall curtains out of the drop claws. And then I did my little uh, come shop with me centerpiece. Anybody watch those? I'm kind of awkward at vlogging. I'm not very good like holding a camera and talking because the whole time I'm like, well, she talks with her hands, so like the camera was real shaky. So she's she's got the camera here, and she's getting real excited and talking, and can't hold this hand steady. I get really excited. Well, yeah, I talk with my hands. 
How, I can't, you put my hands behind my back, I can't tell. Let's see, <laughs> uh, I need a selfie stick. Yes, Caitlin, I need a selfie stick. John Doyle says he's been watching, and Lily says she loves the videos. So. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate well, <laughs> it. We feel like it's been a lot of fun, and we've had a lot more interaction on the videos with you guys, uh, a lot more comments and things. So we've been enjoying it on our end because we like to see people take what we've been doing and actually put it into use. Yeah, I love it. Like, if you ever do a DIY, please, please send me a picture of the ones that you've done because the best thing that I ever have happen to me is when people tell me, hey, I watched your DIY and I was actually able to make something. Oh, technically it's Allison Doyle. Oh, you're just on your John's account. All right. Well, thanks, Allison. We don't have as many men that watch us as women, but, well, it depends. Like, if it's a dev video, like a carpentry one they do, but... The decor, not as hey, much. Hey, the demographics say 31%. 31% men. So well, guys, I'll keep the cool videos coming. <laughs> oh, I was gonna, you keep painting. I got, I think I'm beating you. Probably, I can't work good and talk. You can't talk without so, moving your hands. I can't talk and move my hands. We, we, this is not like a brand deal or anything, but we got our first, I guess it is a brand deal. We got our first free tool to use on our channel. So we don't have anything yet to use this heat gun with, but that just shows us that our channel is growing and that's super exciting. This came in this week from Tack Life. It's a heat gun and we will be using this on a project and we are gonna give you our honest opinion about it. We will never agree to do any brand deals where we have to fluff up our opinion. If they don't let us say exactly how we feel. If I don't like it, you guys are gonna know about it. So we just wanna let you guys know that up front that uh, it's, it's gonna be what it is. If it's a great tool, I'm gonna endorse it and say, yeah, I love it. If it's not, then I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's go back to some questions. Is it, is it better, is better the milk paint or the chalk paint? Thanks. Okay, so let me tell you about milk paint and chalk paint. Milk paint is an all natural product. It comes in a power form and you have to mix it up. So mixing it up, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of annoying that you don't have to do that. Chalk paint comes pre-mixed. What I like about milk paint is you get like a really authentic chippy look that you don't get with chalk paint, but you cannot spray milk paint. So if I'm doing a big piece, it's kind of annoying to pay, paint with the milk paint. But if I'm brushing, I love using milk paint because milk paint, when it's sanded, gets like really buttery smooth and it's hard to see the brush strokes. Whereas chalk paint, it's a little bit harder to hide those brush strokes if you're painting by hand. So I feel like each one of them does different things. And chalk paint, you can still distress. It's just a little bit more controlled because milk paint definitely has a mind of its own and kind of chips where it wants. So, oh, Lily says, love both milk paint and buttery smooth. It is so true. If you wear LuLaRoe leggings and they're like super soft and buttery, um, milk paint is the same way. Like once you sand it, when you're done, it gets really, really soft. I'm gonna have to go get a little brush to get down in these tighter cracks. I will be right back. I, I just shoved it in there in my little cracks. All right, let's see if we have any other thing. Let's see, any other questions? Love the lathe. So this week, one of our DIYs is going to be how to use our Harbor Freight lathe. I know everybody's been asking for it, so uh, that we're gonna put that on there. I get to watch him lathe all the time. He spends hours at it every week. So Zeb will be um, using, using his lathe and giving you guys some pointers. But just a heads up, he's self-taught and um, so he, he may not be super technical with it, but he does amazing work, so he obviously knows what he's doing. And you're back. Yep. What do you want to talk about? You Had talk to take care it. of kids. Uh, so next week, we've got some fun videos. I'm gonna do a lathe video. We're gonna include that. Um, that'll probably be one of our dedicated DIYs, and I'll go pretty far in depth on, uh, on what the different tools do, at least to the extent that I know and we'll make up some cool lathe terms because I don't know the real ones and we'll call thingy them that. Thingy-majig. That's, that's Jamie's favorite. Thingy-majig or thingy-bob, that's how what I call things I don't know. Or if I get tired, I probably know the name of it, but that's all you're gonna get from me. You're gonna have to use a little brush on these. All right. Um, also, we were, I, I was going to show you oh, guys. It's ripping. So a portal build, but using simple tools. I might get to that next week or the week after, but because I know everybody doesn't have a bandsaw or a bunch of tools in the shop, but um, a jigsaw is the one I was going to use and show you how to do a corbel from start to finish with a jigsaw. And you could pick up an inexpensive jigsaw for about 40 bucks. So uh, We had a question, do you like the tools from Harbor Freight? Um, I'll give you my opinion. 
I like some of the tools. The tools that we use, if we tell you that we get a tool from Harbor Freight and we use it all the time, it's probably safe to say that that's a decent tool, like the sprayer or the lathe. You know, we wouldn't use them if they weren't good, but some of them, sometimes you get what you pay for. As far as Harbor Freight goes on tools, I've used a lot of their tools. I haven't used everything they've got, obviously, but sometimes it's hit and miss. But if you need something to get you started into the craft or to get or you going. Or if you're just going, doing one project. Yeah, if you're doing like one project, if you see us do something and you need a tool for that and you're only going to do it once, they're a great resource for tools. I mean, they usually work for a while and some of their tools last. I mean, the lathe, I use it probably 10 to 15 hours a week, just steady running it. And, and do you know why we got it? Because old. Clint from Park Designs from Fixer Upper, yeah. when he first started, that is a lathe he used and he made a ton of stuff on his Harbor Freight lathe. So if it's good enough for Clint Harp and Fixer Upper, it's good enough for Jamie Ray Vintage. Yeah, I've, I've loved it. It's got a couple of options. It's not super fancy, but if you want to start getting into the craft and, and learning how to use a lathe, I mean, I think, I think now if you go down there, they're about 350 out the door. So, I mean, that's a little more pricey as far as a beginner tool goes, but still, it gets you a lathe. Some lathes are like three, dollars $4,000 just for basic setup. Well, and I'm not going to lie, when I bought the lathe for Zeb, I was like, you want that? Sweet. I'm not going to, you know, that's, it was a present. I was it Father's Day? Yeah, something like that. No, it was in the beginning of the year. Oh, I don't know. It was a, hey, we got a tax return present. Does anybody do that? <laughs> but anyways, I wasn't expecting anything out of it. And I, you know, he really only used it in high school. And immediately right off the bat, he started making amazing things. And it paid for itself, what, the first month? Yeah, like we... we we made candlesticks we, first, right? We made a bunch of candlesticks and like a table. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's definitely it was definitely worth the investment. Yeah, my us. my my entire formal training on a lathe, I took wood shop my sophomore year in high school for for the whole year, and we had to do one project on the lathe to pass the class, and that was all I knew about it. And sophomore year was like 18, 19 years ago. That was a while ago. Yeah, but so. you're one of those really annoying people that like, you just figure it out and you're good at it. He, Sorry. That's why I married him. He was that way in high school too. He would hardly ever like study and he got straight A's. Maybe one of these days, once we get a few more cool tools, we'll, we'll have a uh, CFZ can build it challenge. <laughs> uh, my shiplap shirt, it is from uh, Magnolia Home. My girlfriend Kathy went there and brought it for me and I've had it for a long time. And I took really good care of it and then I painted it at once and then it became a paint shirt. But I'm not going to lie, this morning when I was pulling out my paint clothes, because I've been in my paint clothes all day, I was really excited because this is my favorite paint shirt and I don't know if you see them, these are my favorite paint pants. So it's always a good day when I can wear these clothes. Paint pants are coming in, they're selling them at the store. I know, store. Ralph Lauren has a pair, as does Nordstrom's. I have a whole closet full of Jamie Ray Vintage Original paint clothes. <laughs> All right, so hopefully done. next week you guys can see us in our own shirts. We've got them on order. Um, we just haven't got the order in. Oh, Cheryl so. wants to know what we're making. We should um, just joined. We are making corbels. We actually already made them. We are milk painting them. I don't have a video on me making these particular ones, so we'll have to we'll have to maybe do that if there's enough interest. I can show you guys how to make them. But I'm gonna do next week. We'll have a simple corbel design and maybe. Uh, Maybe a lathe DIY. Yeah, these are these are for a friend of mine's porch. These are for that. And then um, somebody asked if there's prep with milk paint. Um, yeah, I mean you gotta clean the piece before you get started. If it's super shiny, you wanna like lightly sand it. We also have the stuff. That, so milk paint is made to chip. So if your piece is super shiny, it's all gonna chip off. If it's a little shiny, then a little bit will chip off. I know we have done a one. yeah. Well, except for the details, and you got the little brush. Um, what was I saying? You were talking about you interrupted paint chipping. Me. Oh yeah, and so if it if it's really shiny, you can put extra bond in your paint, and then it that stuff is like crazy. It sticks so good. So you have to be careful how much you add if you still want it to chip. Yeah, like sometimes put, we won't get any chipping when we use it, so it's kind of yeah. it's kind of hit or miss. Milk paints milk paints fun because you almost never know how the finish is going to turn out when you start. But if you follow directions on the extra bond bottle when you're making your milk paint and you put the exact amount that it costs for, like it probably won't chip at all. It'll stick really good. Yeah. But, and I, you know, even if you don't want the chippy look, if you add the extra bond, it's kind of nice to brush the milk paint because then you can get rid of your brush strokes by sanding it. So like pretty much any time I brush the piece, if I don't want the brush strokes, I'm gonna use milk paint. 
So let's see. How much are these corbels? They're huge. We haven't actually given them an official price. They were made for a friend as a custom, and usually the first time I build something, you get the sweet deal because I don't know what's going to go into it to build it. Let's see. They sh they're 165 a pair. There you go. Jamie there you go. called it. You heard it here first. Caitlin, who's on this thread, will make sure they get on. Let's see. Did I miss anything else? We'll get a good picture okay, of them yeah, for the we'll website. Get a good, we'll get a good picture of them now that they're actually painted. And dimensions, because this is, I think this is like 23, 24 inches tall. It's big. <laughs> yeah, they're big. I'm. You can tell who paints more, because like, I'm faster than him at painting. I don't paint by hand. I do spray. I spray everything. Yeah, if anything has to be painted by hand, it's pretty much by me. And if there has to be like custom finishes, that's kind of what I do. Even so though, Jamie doesn't like to wear the face mask for the sprayer because she's claustrophobic and it <gasps> freaks her out. They're everybody, you can't, they can't know that She I still have. wears it, she just doesn't like it. So if something needs sprayed for like a while, if it's going to be like a long time spraying it, I That's do it. That's true. What did, oh, love what I did to Kimmy's dining room set. Yeah, that was fun and I love Kimmy. Just so you know, if any of you guys are from Kimmy's channel, she is as sweet in real life as she is on her channel. She is super duper nice and we actually did like basically a whole house full of furniture for her mother-in-law. Their whole family is just darling. So they're super sweet. All right, Dicey asked, what your favorite milk paint and chalk paints are? Like my favorite colors? Okay, my favorite milk paint colors are Pantry Door, Sweetie Jane, Flower Sack, um, Navy Blues. I also like, uh, I can't remember what the black is called off the top of my head, but oh, the, yeah, black the black is, is really black. The black is, the black is really black and it covers really good. I also like creamy because it's not like super yellow. Um, yeah, so I think that's all my favorite milk paint colors. I love to mix Sweetie Jane and Pantry Door 50-50. If any of you guys have seen that chippy green like cabinet that's in my living room, that's 50-50 Pantry Door to um, Sweetie Jane. And then chalk paint, I love gunmetal. That's what my front door is um, painted. I love fresh cream. Uh, did I say that I loved flower sack on the milk paint? Okay, because I use that a lot. Yep. Snowflake, we use a lot of snowflake. I buy it by the gallon. I like dress blues. I like depths, harbor, tidal, meant to be. I'm going to be using goodbye yellow soon. That's mustardy. And then I just recently used uh, Merm Emerald for the first time on a dresser. It's like an emerald green, and that's really pretty. I think that's, oh, and industrial. I'm fond of uh, arsenic. It's like TIE Fighter gray. Oh, somebody's. It's super great. Yeah. <laughs> Zeb picks a lot of fun colors. He also likes absinthe, which is obnoxious it's, green. It's, it's like the green on my name here. I don't know if you can see it. She is this an is addict, so she loves them all. This is true. I, if you sit still for any length of time in my house, you have, you're at risk of being chalk or milk painted. I've tried it on almost everything. And I always say that all my food's made with uh, a lot of love and a little bit of paint because we paint our kitchen so inevitably it mixes. So good thing milk paint is non-toxic. Um, somebody, somebody missed a question. Uh, oh, somebody said they were scared for chalk paint. So we have this video, it's called Chalk Paint for Beginners. It was a collab with my friend Christina Dykes from... Um, Who now lives just across the street. Yeah, they live just across the street now from Dykes Fam. But anyways, look on the playlist. There's like chalk painting by hand. Is that what the playlist is? Um, I'll have to look, but we have... Or just look up Chalk Paint for Beginners. Look oh. at that on my channel and we have that video. And if you watch that, seriously, I just break it all down. It's super simple, and I have to say that chalk paint, I, for beginners anyways, chalk paint's probably an easier paint to learn with if you don't have to mix it yourself. And it's really user-friendly. It's really forgiving. It's self-leveling, and it's easy because it's so flat. If you let drip, it's easy to sand it smooth and get rid of the drip. So something I wanted to talk about before she answers another question, we get a ton, a ton of questions on how to do things, which is why we started doing this channel in the first place, so we could be like, hey, we have a video, go watch that. And so now that we're doing all of these kind of more vlog styles where they're loosely more of just us doing what we do all day, every day, um, I have everything in a playlist, like a nice, neat playlist. So you can go find it typically on the channel. If you go to our playlists, um, they'll have our DIYs in there. I think there's like 90 of them. And most of those videos are just straight up us doing a DIY from start to finish. So. All right. I'm going to have to cut him off there. Uh, I will answer this last question from Aracel, Aracelis. Hopefully I said that right. 
Um, Cause we have to take our kids to Despicable Me 3 and dinner. Um, the question is what's the easiest piece of furniture to chalk paint? I would say like a little side table that has straight lines. Anything with spindles is a little bit difficult. Um, chairs are a pain in the bum to <laughs> chalk paint because of all the details, but like a little side table, that's a great thing to get started on. Or if you want real basic, like picture frames. Um, one of my favorite brushes, before we go, this is the Zebra Round Brush. We carry it on our website. It's not super expensive. I think it's like $14. It is amazing. It gets in all the details. If you only own one paintbrush, this is going to be it. All right, be sure to catch our videos. Um, check our playlist. We've got lots of DIYs on there. We're going to have five videos again next week. Comment below, even if you're not live, with anything you'd like to see us do, and we'll get in the schedule. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.